Hello Safety Stuff subscriber and whoever is watching this. Welcome to the second in a series of videos that I'm going to put out to help you have more fun and exciting safety meetings and safety presentations and I'll give you all different kind of ideas you can use. And each one I'm going to do at a site, mostly in New Jersey, an unusual site, and sometimes when I'm traveling. And this one is definitely an unusual place. It's only about 15 minutes from my house. It's called the Palace of Depression. And George Dawn, back in 1932, started this place. Actually, before that, he came here. And it is the oddest place you ever saw in your life. The story is pretty amazing. At one time, this was an internationally famous palace. And George did all kinds of unusual things. He named this place the strangest house in the world. And it surely is. In fact, right over here to my left is the ticket booth where he would charge a small fee. At one time, there's over half a million people came through this place from 1932 until the early 50s. And they're restoring it. It got destroyed. And here I am. And the tip I want to give you this week has to do with a simple way to get your folks that are at your safety meeting or a presentation, even have an audience, involved in a way where you don't have to get them to raise their hand. And you know how hard it is when you have a group of guys and gals at a safety meeting and say, does anybody have any questions? Or you have to coax them to try to get them to respond to what you're doing. I've used these for many years, even back when I was working at the nuclear power plant. And they're index cards. You can use the larger ones or the smaller ones. There's two different sizes. This is, I prefer the large ones, gives you plenty of room. And just ask your audience a question, a personal question. What I mean by personal is something that's their opinion about something. Even you can say, what would you like to have at future safety meetings? Pass out the card to everybody. I like this one. How do you cheat when it comes to your safety behavior at home or at work? Make sure no one puts their name down. You want to make this anonymous. Have them put down an answer to the question. Some people won't answer. Many will. Collect the cards. And now you have something that you can do with your audience that will seem like they are interacting. And actually they are. You're using their opinions to further your discussion. I have a warning. Make sure that you read what you're going to say silently before you read it out loud. Because you never know what you're going to get on these cards. Sometimes it'll be hilarious and you can say it. Other times it's something that you don't want to say out loud. The sky's the limit when it comes to what you can do with these cards. They're inexpensive, it's simple. I use it even with larger audiences at times. Two, three hundred people, I've passed out cards and collected them for their opinion. Of course, I don't go through all of them, I just pick a few. And then I use later those cards, the answers, to have a list of data from my audience about something that we discuss together. So, if you do get to use the cards, let me know how it worked out. Also, don't forget, if you send me your ideas, your tips, some ways that you make either your presentations, your safety meetings, or at your company, your safety program, some way you make it enticing, fun, interesting, doesn't have to be funny or anything like that. It can be poignant. And send me either via email, richard at makesafetyfun.com, or you can do a short video like I'm doing here today. And if I choose your idea, you'll win two of these cool Safety Rocks t-shirts. And if you're a Safety Stuff subscriber, then you know that this week, from Safety Herb, you have an idea that he sent in via e -reading. And if you aren't a Safety Stuff subscriber, be sure to go to my site, makesafetyfun.com, and you'll see a sign-up box there to the right side of the website and just put in your email address I won't sell your email of course and then every issue you'll get will have an idea and a video like this and who knows what else so until next time remember great leaders make safety fun.